EasySure 3-in-1, your portable companion for glucose, cholesterol, and uric acid testing. It's compact, easy to use, and comes with a memory function for test strip mode. Remember to pair it each time you open a new bottle of test strips. After that, you're ready to use it at home. Just swap out the strips when needed. Install a CR2032 battery, set the time, and in just 15 seconds, the device will save your settings and power down automatically. To check the device, insert the check strip into the slot. If you see OK on the screen, you're good to go. Take the lancing device and twist off the front cap. Insert a lancet into the device, making sure it's secure. Twist and remove the protective cap from the lancet. Put the front cap back on the lancing device and tighten it. Adjust the depth setting on the front cap to match your preference. Hold the front cap steady with one hand while pulling back the pen barrel with the other until you hear a click. Each vial of test strips comes with its own code key. This key is specifically designed for the strips in that vial. Insert the code key into the meter slot until it clicks into place. Take a test strip from the vial and be sure to close the cap tightly right after. Insert the test strip into the meter slot. The meter will power on automatically. Check that the code on the screen matches the one on the test strip vial. Once verified, you'll see a blood symbol on the display. For cholesterol and uric acid tests, simply follow the same steps. Clean the puncture site with an alcohol swab and let it dry. Place your finger under the circular hole on the lancing device's front cap, then press the trigger to draw blood. Touch the drop of blood to the test strip's absorption area. Wait until it turns completely red and listen for the beep. That's your cue to remove your finger. Depending on the strip type, the blood might enter from the top or the side, so take note of that. After a brief countdown, your test results will appear on the screen. Remove the test strip from the meter and it will automatically turn off. Finally, take off the lancing device's front cap, press the lancet down onto its protective cap, and eject it by pressing the rear end of the device.